it again. We all know that Troy Casadale is pretty comfy up on stage with a guitar in his arms. But what might surprise a few people is that off stage, he's just as handy with a rod and reel in his hands. So when the guys from Springwood Marine needed a decky on a recent fishing trip on the Gold Coast, not surprisingly, he jumped at the chance to get on board. Well, I've done all sorts of fishing all over Australia, and um, this is mind-blowing. These guys have got like 150, 200 kg braid. They've got big sinkers that weigh about three to four kilo. And underneath us, there's like 600 metres of beautiful blue ocean. So it's amazing. You've got to see it to believe it. This is serious fishing in anyone's books. We're on board Gary Brenchley's 37-foot Kevlar Cat, about 50 nautical miles dead east from the Tweed Coast. In water so deep, it takes about 10 minutes for the baits to reach the bottom, and the only way to bring them back up is with these great big electric reels. Doug Burt is one of the few blokes with a good knowledge of this style of fishing, and with a first drop like that, it's easy to see what keeps him coming all the way back out here. The hairline is not going to cut it out here. Now, Doug, you better explain what's going on here. I mean, we're fishing, but we're not fishing. Well, <laughs> we're fishing in a sense, but the rod's doing all the work for us. And so it's playing the fish. It's playing the fish, and this fish has obviously just tied itself out, and you can see um, it's been on there for about 10 minutes now, and it has an adjustable drag on it, so when the fish runs, it stops winding. When the fish get, goes slack, it starts pulling it back in again. You've got two on. And they're big cod. Oh, my God! What? <laughs> what is the deal? <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> Getting him into the boat, this is when a bit of brawn comes in handy. <laughs> Holy jingo! <laughs> what a horse! <laughs> now, Doug, what is this one? Uh, they're both cod. They're both cod? Yeah, or they're like a half hook or something. See that? Wow! This one's bigger. Oh, my God. You want a hand? <laughs> what? This is a big one. What's the My goodness <laughs> me! <laughs> so they're amazing that, that even targeting something like this, you wouldn't expect two of them to jump on a line like that, would you? No, obviously there's a lot down there. <laughs> this style of fishing, you need some pretty high-end gear. And likewise, to get all the way out there, you need a proper offshore fishing boat, like this great Kevlar Cat. In fact, the ability to do this kind of fishing is one of the main reasons Gary chose a Kevlar Cat, because he wanted a boat that could access these relatively untouched fishing grounds way off the coast. Troy, we've travelled about 70 kilometres out yep. um, to get out here, and, the, and that's the beauty of the, the Kevlar Cat boat in general, is that we can get out here fast, um, comfortable, it's safe, it's a, it's a big fishing platform that we've got to work with. So, so, Gary, it is a bit harder to catch fish in the shallower areas. Is that one of the reasons this fishing might sort of take off, do you reckon? Well, it's one of the reasons, I think, Troy, and I think it's, um, it's a unique type of, type of fishing. It's a bit like a lucky dip out here. You might have a bite there. I think I'm on. And just to cap off what's already been an incredible day on the water, both Doug and Gary are on. On to what? Well, out here, it really could be anything. You've just been bringing it in, there's one on there, and then you, it looks like there's about three or four of them jumping on the bus to come home, is that right? <laughs> What's the go with that, Dutch? It's a crowded bus. <laughs> Have a look at this. It's just amazing to see what, what you can pull out of the depths of the ocean. And, um, you know, like I say, and everywhere we go, you learn something, but today has just been a whole other, you know, operation altogether. If you'd like to take a look at the Kevlar Cat range of fishing and sports boats, then give the guys at Springwood Marine a call or jump on their website. Oh, I've got another fish on here, guys. Get the gas, get the gas. Here, <laughs> mate. Yes, look, it's pretty big. Wow, hey. Look out. That, oh, look at that. That is amazing. Look at the gas down there. I can't stop looking at it. That is amazing. Well, what a day's fishing, eh?